following on from the previous video, we wanted to um, to prove this, and we started out by defining our function to be uh, to be this. And when we differentiate our function, it gave us this. Now, looking at this here, we realize that f prime. Uh, we we realize that the derivative will always be greater than zero within our region. Now, within our region, being being this x uh, x being greater than than zero. So within our region, we realize that the derivative will always be greater than one. Now, if the derivative is always greater than one within our region, um, that would imply that the original function must always be climbing. Now, if the original function is always climbing, if, if the original function is always climbing, we, we would select a point that's really low down. And then, so we, we should be f of zero. We, uh, we would select a point that's really low down. Now, if our, if our function is always climbing, then we can say that f of x will always be greater than, than f of, of, the, of this really low point here. So, we realize that the derivative will always be greater than zero. Now, if the derivative is always greater than zero, it means that the original function must always be climbing. Now, if the original function is always climbing, then, then we can say that the lowest point here, well, we can say that any point here will always be greater than than our lowest point right here because the original function is always climbing okay so that's basically so so we would select a low point here and then we would realize that um we would realize that uh this bit here will always be bigger than our our lowest point here and then 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 from here hang on then from here we would put in our original uh, function that we defined earlier, which was this here, to be bigger than the lowest point here. Remember this bit here, because later on we're going to come back to this bit. So when whenever you see this thing here, you will you you will know that it must always be greater than than zero uh, for for x for for x being in this region here. Okay. So what so so just remember this bit here. We're going to come back to this bit later on. Okay. So now we're going to prove this. We're going to show that this here will always be greater than 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 this for x being greater than zero. Okay. So now set up a new function. Let's call it g of x. Let's just say g of x is is this thing take away this whole thing here. Okay. Differentiate it. If if you differentiate it, it will give you this. Now this thing here. Now this thing here will always be greater than uh, then this thing here, will, this block here, will always be greater than zero uh, for 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 x being greater than zero. Okay, um, this block here will always be greater than than zero because of the previous thing here, because of this. Okay, so so whenever you see this block here, this thing here will always be greater than zero uh, for x being greater than zero. So within this region here, within this region here, this thing here will always be greater than zero. Okay, now going back down here, so basically when well, 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 when you differentiate when you differentiate g of x it will give you this. Now this block here will always be greater than than uh, than zero this block here will always be greater than zero for x being greater than zero. So within this region here this block here will always be greater than zero. Now, if this block here is always greater than zero, it means that it, it means that our our original function must always be climbing. Now, if 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 the derivative if the derivative is always greater than zero, it would imply that that the original function, which is this one here, the original function must always be climbing. Okay. So hang on. So well, we started out with this differentiate it it would give us this then we would realize that within our within our region the region that we're talking about within our region this bit here is always greater than one now if the derivative is always greater than one it must imply that the the original function itself must always be climbing so we, we, we would select a really low point here g of zero here or g of zero equals zero well if the original function um, is always climbing then we can always say that um, that this must be greater than than the lowest point here, okay? For for x being uh, w within the region that we're talking about, which is x being greater than zero.
Okay, so so once once we got to this stage here, remember our, our original function we defined it g of x as this. Remember we defined we defined um, g of x to be this. So now put g of x here into 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 here. Okay, so so basically when when you're here, put g of x back in. That will be this. Remember g of G of zero is zero here, and then and then add this block to both sides. Then 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 now you know that g of g of x will always be greater than this. And then you can use the same argument for for this here. You can actually prove this here. So this remember th this is really three factorial. It means um, uh, three times two times one. Here earlier we just said two because two factorial two factorial means two times one. So basically, you can use the same technique to um, to show this here. Well, to show it, then you would define a new function. Let's call it h of x to be this, and then uh, differentiate it. It will give you this, and then realize that this bit here will always be greater than zero because now going back one step, because going back to one step. Hang on, because going back to here, whenever you see this block, you know that it's greater than zero or within the region that we're talking about and the region that we're talking about is when when, when x is uh, greater than zero so so going back one step um this bit here will always be greater than zero within the within the region that we're talking about so remember this block here whenever you see this block here whenever you see this block here it will always be greater than zero okay so remember this block here going down here started with this Set up your function, differentiate your function, and then whenever you see this block here, it will always be greater than zero. Now, if 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 this is greater than zero, um, then then it would imply that h of x must always be climbing, and so on. You can use the same argument um, to 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 actually prove to actually prove this here, and then you can use the same argument again to prove this, and so on. You can keep on adding. Um, you can keep on adding another term here. Let's say x to the power of five over uh, five factorial, and then and then this is always greater than this. It's kind of strange that that uh, you can keep on adding things, but yet it will always be lower than this thing here. So so you can keep on adding uh, x to the power of five over five factorial, and then you can keep on adding x to the power of six over six factorial, and so on. And it's quite strange that that um, that you 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 keep on adding things, but yet it's always lower than this. Or well, anyway, okay.